And I guess what I'm trying to say is... I, I like you, Regina. Like, like you, like you. <sighs> Dad, what's wrong, son? You missed the old block from which you were chipped? Absolutely not. Could you go take a walk around the world? A friend is coming over soon, and we need to talk regarding the way I feel about certain things. Like triple-ply toilet paper? That third ply, man, really keeps your fingers from poking through when you're over the hole. No! Listen, it makes my boys boil having to spell it out to you like this. I invited Regina over so I can tell her I like her. The Golden Panda has awoken. The Golden Panda has awoken? That's seven days, 14 hours, and 93 minutes sooner than I thought it would. <sighs> this is my life. What the f*** is going on? Son, there are moments in a young man's life that are so important they should not be interrupted even by dads. Your first real scrap. Blood in, blood out. Hitting a home run. No pun intended. Hitting a home run. Pun intended. Sacrificing your firstborn on a hilltop. The son, God, thanks you. And when you tell a human being you yearn for them in a primal, emotional, and yes, physical way. L'amour is a great. Baguette. Wait, did I have an older sibling? Operation Golden Panda is a fail-safe, son. This magnificent man-child tasked me with the responsibility of devising a plan to keep him from ruining your most important prepubescent milestones. Until you complete your mission of emotional bravery, I promise you, your daddy will be immobilized. I'll feed him, I'll bathe him, I'll monitor his every move. Bathe him? Why don't you just take him to a movie? <laughs> <laughs> Once Regina gets here, I'll become unstoppable, unmoored, uncaged, downright unreasonable. True, but I've been in your head before. I know how you think. I'm the only man who can contain you. Wanna know the only problem? What's that, Blark? I'm already gone. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, sorry I'm late. Gene wanted me to look at some used auto parts on the way over. Oh, is that vanilla bean? <laughs> Nothing gets past you, Sniddle. Maybe later. Aren't you pumped to watch Teenage Ghost Warrior 2? I'm in the mood for something bloody. Huh, it's kind of dark in here. <laughs> Darkness is the perfect setting to focus on TGW's quest for vengeance. Oh, Regina Lucky. <laughs> Gee, I have something to tell you. Or, or rather, a, a story to tell you. Clever Blark. So, after they topple a shogun centipede, Sanji the forest samurai welcomes Rugi the windwalker into his acorn house. Oh, I was hoping that would happen. Yeah, and then they become really good friends. Uh, son needs me. Uh. And then one night, Sanji realizes that he has something important to tell Rugi that he knows might surprise her. Must get inside. Must be Sun's Rock. Must use real rock to become Sun's Rock. So under the light of the harvest moon, Sunji sits Rugi down next... Sunji leans in, caresses Rugi's cheek, and whispers... Holy smokes, son! I really want to hear the rest of this, but first, you should look at the front door. Front door? Knock, knock, knock! Zeke? What the hell? I'm surprising! It's a real Zeke! 
Jean helped me put them together in the metal shop. But wh- wh- why? What is what's going on? What's happening is what are they dating? Dating? Hmm? Yeah, we made it official yesterday. Now all three of us can hang out all the time. Sun was just telling me this awesome story. So what ended up happening with Rugi and Sunji? Oh. Um, Sanji fell off a ladder and broke his neck. Then Rugi started dating Robo Ghost. Then Sanji ate a poison bean in the hospital and he died. Rugi started dating Robo Ghost? That's kind of like me and you, Zeke. Yeah, just like you and Zeke. I must help my boy! <laughs> You're a tactical genius, Fletch. <sighs> Come at the king, you best not miss. <laughs> Son, Fletcher's wank dogs are still wiggling their way through my bloodstream. Dad, I'm busy. Son, what you try to do today takes courage. You've got breath, and that counts for everything. You're my baby boy, and I love you. Thanks, Dad. Son, I've been thinking. Maybe there's a way to remove Zeke from the pixel. I'm not talking full-on murder, but... Ha! You're welcome!